Welcome to this Pearl of Laboratory Medicine brought to you by AACC and the Clinical Chemistry Trainee Council. View this and many more pearls as well as other free educational material at traineecouncil.org. Hello, my name is Fang Zhao. I'm a Molecular Genetic Pathology Fellow at the Cleveland Clinic. Welcome to the support of laboratory medicine on genetics of sickle cell disease. Here is the outline of this presentation. First, I'll give a brief overview of the normal hemoglobins and the globin genes. Second, I'll talk about the molecular genetics of hemoglobin S and the sickle cell disease. Third, I'll discuss the clinical genetic aspects of sickle cell disease. As we know that hemoglobin is the oxygen carrier in vertebrate red blood cells, each hemoglobin molecule consists of four subunits, two alpha globin chains and two beta or beta-like globin chains. The image on the top of the right side illustrates the structure of adult human hemoglobin, HBA, has a alpha 2 beta 2 structure in which the four chains are folded and fitted together to form a globular tetramer. Each subunit is composed of a polypeptide chain, globin, and a prosthetic group, T, which is an ion-containing pigment that combines the oxygen to give the molecule its oxygen transporting ability. As illustrated in the image at the bottom of the right side, each globin chain is made of eight segments from A to H, and heme is inserted between E and F. Here in human development from embryo to adult, there are changes in the predominant normal hemoglobin. As shown in this table, hemoglobin GAL1, GAL2, and Portland I are present in the embryonic period. Hemoglobin F, consisting of two alpha chains and two gamma chains, is the predominant hemoglobin in the fetal period. Hemoglobin A, alpha 2 beta 2, and hemoglobin A2, alpha 2 dart 2, are normal hemoglobins in adult with hemoglobin A being the predominant component. The synthesis of hemoglobin are directed by the globin genes, which are organized into two clusters, the alpha-like gene cluster and the beta-like gene cluster. The alpha-like gene cluster is located on the short arm of chromosome 16. It contains three functional genes, alpha-1, alpha-2, and zeta-2 three pseudogenes, which are DNA sequences that closely resemble known genes but are non-functional, and one gene of undetermined function. It is noted that the alpha-1 and alpha-2 genes have closed nucleotide sequences and an identical coding sequence. The beta-like gene cluster is located on the short arm of chromosome 11 and contains five functional genes, beta, delta, G gamma, A gamma, and epsilon, and one pseudogene. Within each complex, the genes are all in the same five prime to three prime orientation and are arranged in the order in which they are expressed during development. Hemoglobin S results from a single nucleotide substitution in the beta globin gene, an adenine to thymine substitution in the sixth codon replaces the glutamic acid with valine in the sixth amino acid position of the beta globin gene. In oxygenated blood, hemoglobin S are normal in their ability to perform their principal function of binding oxygen. But in deoxygenated blood, HBS are only one-fifth as soluble as normal hemoglobin. This relative insolubility of deoxyhemoglobin S causes the sickle hemoglobin molecules to aggregate in the form of rod-shaped polymers or fibers. These molecular rods distort the erythrocytes to a sickle shape that prevents them from squeezing single file 
through capillaries, thereby blocking blood flow and causing local ischemia. They may also cause disruption of the rest of membrane, i.e. hemolysis, and release of free hemoglobin, which can have deleterious effects on the availability of vasodilators, such as the nitric oxide, thereby exacerbating the ischemia. Sickle cell disease refers to a group of disorders characterized by the presence of at least one HBS and a second beta globin chain pathogenic variant, resulting in abnormal hemoglobin polymerization. Sickle cell disease, HBSS, is caused by the homozygous beta globin gene variant, TDR2-GLU6 valve. It is the most common cause of SCD in the U.S. and accounts for 60 to 70 percent of SCD. Other forms of SCD result from poor inheritance of HBS with other abnormal beta globin chain variants. The most common forms being sickle hemoglobin C disease and two types of sickle beta thalassemia. Rare forms result from for inheritance of other HB variants, such as the Punjab or Arab and E. Although all patients with homozygous SCD have exactly the same molecular defect, there is considerable clinical variation, ranging from death in early childhood to the normal lifespan from few complications. It is known that there are some genetic modifiers of sickle cell disease, including alpha septicemia, types of the second beta globin pathogenic variant, and the genetic factors that affect levels of hemoglobin F. Alpha septicemia results from impaired production of alpha globin chains, which leads to a relative excess of beta globin chains. It is noted that the concurrence of sickle cell anemia and alpha thalassemia results in less severe hemolytic anemia. Apparently, as a result of reduced intraerythrocytic concentration of hemoglobin S and its retarded polymerization. In addition, individuals with HBSS and S beta zero thalassemia are generally more severely affected than individuals with HBSC or S beta plus thalassemia. Furthermore, it has been known for many years that patients with increased levels of HBS often tend to have a relatively mild clinical course because hemoglobin F reduces the tendency of hemoglobin S to polymerize within the red cell. Several genetic factors have been shown to affect the levels of hemoglobin F. For example, rare deletions within the beta globin gene cluster can increase the level of hemoglobin F. Studies show that five SNPs at the three quantitative trait loci may affect directly on the expression of the gamma globin genes or affect the process of erythropoiesis to increase the level of hemoglobin F or the proportion of F cell production. The RS748214 SNP lies in the promoter of the gamma globin gene on chromosome 11. This could be explained by a direct effect on gamma globin gene expression. The RS467193 SNP lies in the intron of an oncogene, BCL11A, that is expressed in erythroid precursors. There are three SNPs lying in the intergenic region between HBS1L and MYB, have independent effects on hemoglobin S variants in SCD. Although the role of HBS1L is unknown, MYB is known to play an important role in normal erythroid poisons. Now, move on to discuss the clinical 
genetic aspects of sickle cell disease. First, the prevalence of SCD. The HBS allele is common in persons of African, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Indian ancestry, and in persons from the Caribbean and parts of Central and South America, but can be found in individuals of any ethnic background. Among African Americans, the prevalence of sickle cell trait HBAS is about 10%. Approximately one in every 300 to 500 African Americans born in the U.S. has SCD. Sickle cell disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, which means if one parent is a carrier of the HBV HBS pathogenic variant and the other is a carrier of any of the HBV pathogenic variants, each child has a 25% chance of being affected, a 50% chance of being unaffected and a carrier, and a 25% chance of being unaffected and not a carrier. The diagnosis of SCD is established by identification of significant quantities of HBS with or without an additional abnormal beta globin chain variant by hemoglobin analysis by gel or capillary electrophoresis or HPLC, or by identification of bialylate HBB pathogenic variants where at least one allele is the P-dot glu 6 vel pathogenic variant on molecular genetic testing. As the diagnosis of SDD can be typically confirmed by detecting HBS, DNA-based genetic testing is commonly reserved for prenatal diagnosis. Molecular genetic testing approaches can be single gene testing or use a multi-gene panel. For the single gene testing approach, sequence analysis of HBB is performed first and followed by gene-targeted station duplication analysis if only one or no pathogenic variant is found. A multi-gene panel that includes HBB and other genes of interest may also be considered. The management of sickle cell disease includes multiple components. First, prevention of complications, including use of penicillin prophylaxis started in the newborn period, appropriate immunization, blood transfusions for those at risk for stroke, and hydroxyurea and pharmaceutical grade L-glutamine to prevent pain episodes. Second, treatment of complications, including pain medications for visual occlusive events and antibiotics for infection. Third, potential management for cure. Currently, a lifelong cure for SCD is available only through hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. As SCD arises from a defined single nucleotide substitution in the beta globin gene, whose expression is restricted to erythroid cells. Gene therapy has long been proposed as a potential cure for sickle cell disease. Currently, there are three strategies for gene therapy for sickle cell disease. First, gene addition. Integrating lentiviral vector carrying a beta globin, gamma globin, or anticycline beta globin cassette. The second strategy is to induce the expression of a gamma globin gene by using shRNA mediated knockdown of BCL11A, disruption of BCL11A enhancer, or soft chromatin looping to promote association of the beta globin locus control region with the gamma globin genes. The third approach is gene correction. Direct correction of the sequel mutation by using targeted genome engineering methods. Currently, several clinical trials for SCD therapies are open. The most updated information can be assessed 
by searching the clinicaltrials.gov website. In summary, the hemoglobin molecule is a tetramer consisting of two alpha globin chains and two beta or beta-like globin chains. The synthesis of hemoglobins are directed by the alpha light gene cluster on the chromosome 16 and the beta-like gene cluster on chromosome 11. HCD results from a single nucleotide substitution that changes the codon 6 of beta globin from glutamic acid to valine. Several genetic modifiers may determine the clinical severity of SCD, including alpha septicemia, rare deletions within the beta globin gene cluster, and the five SNPs that may act directly on the expression of the gamma globin genes. SCD is an autosomal recessive disorder. The current clinical approach to SCD is reliant upon supportive and hydroxyurea. Three strategies for gene therapy for SCD have been studied, including gene addition, HBF induction, and gene correction. Several clinical trials for SCD gene therapies are now open. Thank you for joining me on the support of laboratory medicine on genetics of sickle cell disease. For more like this, as well as articles, podcasts, and more, please visit the Trainee Council at traineecouncil.org.